Hello everybody, my name is my, the, 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 Hello everybody, my name is Dean Seamus and welcome back to The Walking Dead, A New Frontier. We're going to continue our journey through this hell of hellhole zombie apocalypse. In the last episode, we ran into Clementine again. Ah, uh, it was great to see you again. Anyway, I just had my lunch and it was delicious. I made myself an onion burger, which is basically just beef, but stuffed with onions. Chopped onions. You have to chop an onion up and then open the burger, just open the meat just a little bit, put the onion inside, and then just roll it, and then just slap more onion on it, and yeah. But it was delicious. Okay, I forgot to check this graphics. Render quality. Hi. What's the plot? Let's just see how it works. <coughs> Alright, episodes. Oh god. Okay. We're going to continue episode one. In the last episode of this, we ran into Clementine. And now she's now escorting Javi or me to the place. You don't want to talk? Fine. But how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself? For all I'd know, you'd turn around and use it on me. Look, I'm not gonna shoot you. I didn't even shoot the guy who had me tied up. <laughs> but I know you thought about it. I did, actually. Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? Runners? They're all fucking walkers, okay? Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Sounds kind of lonely, if you ask me. Well, I didn't ask you. And, anyway, I prefer it like that. But where's Tenny? Did Tenny die or so, something? Who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive. Surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. By taking ass and taking names. Just keeping everyone together like that. I did whatever I had to do to protect them. Kept them out of trouble the best I could. Sucks. That sometimes it's not enough. How about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me too. What happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. No, not Teddy. Shit. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. 
We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're Walker food. We can't make a detour. I need to get to my family. And I need that van. But right now, you have to trust me. Oh, you mean the way you trust me? Don't make me regret this. Come on! That looks like a safe and secure town. Not! In the zombie apocalypse, nowhere is safe. I was just getting off the birds, I guess. <laughs> there! Get to the gate! Right after. I have to control them now. Let's keep going. Go open up. Shit. Hey. Open up. Dude's got an assault rifle. I can't the gate till you clear them out. Can't risk it. Fuck yeah, let's do this shit, buddy. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I just got Clementine back. You're not taking her away from me. Get your ass inside. Come on now. God effing damn it, Francine. One of these days, those doors are going to close and your ass will be on the other side. Yeah, and when that day comes, Trip, I promise I'll eat you first. <laughs> it's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there. Hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? I'm gonna... Yeah, 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 clear. Well understood, buddy. There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. We'll be cool. We'll be cool. Just need a place to ride out the herd, that's all. All right. I'm gonna hold you to that. And I wouldn't recommend changing your mind. If you wanna hang on to all your teeth, that is. 
Now head on in. I got shit to do. Well, welcome to Prescott. Prescott? Should have called it a better town, like, uh, I don't know. Anything about Prescott? It's a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. Holy shit. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. It's just a pit stop, okay? We're gone as soon as there's a window. I hope that window comes soon. <laughs> time. Hey, Javi. What's... what's up? He's worried about his family. My family? They're still out there. Look at... If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure you know, they'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go, this way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. You gotta see a guy. You gotta see a guy about some bullets. Yeah, let's just go with that. I don't know why I do with the quote. This is like, yeah, let's just fucking pay attention to the game, I guess. Talk to me. Jeez, I haven't been in a place like this since. Well, you know. It's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. What should I do? I don't know. Why don't you make some friends? <laughs> oh, I love coming time. I might as well go to the bar. Holy shit, the frame rate is very low. Oh, shotgun. Why don't you sit down here? Excuse me. Ah, oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I know you from somewhere? Possibly. I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. <laughs> the way I see it, nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. Yeah, yeah, screw it. Uh, they just wanted to set an example. I was the poor bastard they used to do it on. All I know is what I read in the papers. Uh, do some the paper, huh? Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, <clears throat> maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, Game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call? Or should I fold? Hmm. Don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. Calls bluff. He's bluffing. He's got bullshit written all over. <laughs> Is that a fact? All right. I think I'll listen to the man. Call. Okay. Moment of trouble. Flip him. 
Please let him. My. Ain't that a pretty sight? Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Well, calm down, both of you. Thanks for the advice, hon. How's about a drink? On my tab. There's still tabs in this days? What the oh, fuck? Wow, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal? And it's done. What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire! He could have gotten both of us killed! Oh yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? No! Cause I don't scare easy. She doesn't need one! She doesn't need a bodyguard. She can take care of herself. Believe me. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Unfucking believable. Look out! That man's trying to chill from him, Ty. Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy, I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. My ass. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus, you gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. I don't control her. Whatever, wrong, buddy. I don't control her. Which looks like bad news for you. <laughs> A deal. All right, hey, okay, all right. So, hey, we'll we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Well, he's dead. Drop the gun right now. Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you. Eli attacked him. I only shot because. Shut it. You done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking ch What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? Yes. Say yes, Avi, come on. Yes. She was justified. Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do with you. Whoa! Whoa hey, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. Got some nerve coming in here fucking up my bar. Hey, look on the bright side. Oh wait, there is none. Because he's fucking dead. <laughs> but there is a bright side to that, actually. He won't turn. Oh, not as far as I know. Right up here. Shot. Boom. Dead. 
not turning, no matter what. I to punch your fucking lights out, both of you. But Eli was a grade A certified dipshit. Yeah. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Hey, thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um, that was cool of you. I wasn't sure there for a minute. Yeah. Well, now you really owe me. Because <coughs> you put my ass on the line with these people and they barely know me. <laughs> and I'm, well, I'm saying thanks. You're welcome. Just don't think this makes us friends or anything. Never. Hello? Hello. I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. Hello, Eleanor. I mean, what? I hate that I'm treating you in a cage, like you're some feral animal. Javier, pleasure's all mine. Is it now? Now, <laughs> let's see about that wound. Too bad. I just know that Javier's wearing a shirt that says too bad. Yeah, he got you good. Try to. <clears throat> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? <laughs> As if good looks equal bad behavior or something. Takes one to no one. Well, it takes one to no one. One what? One pretty troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you that one. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. If you don't mind me asking, what did happen exactly? That they were arguing and that she went crazy over nothing? Look, things got out of hand. Clementine was only trying to make a point, but then... You make it sound so casual. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town. And get back to your group. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. If there's... If there's anything I can do to help. Oh, yeah, there is. Not, not that I have much to offer you, but... I know a thing or two about losing family. You're helping now. It's okay. You've done enough. I hear you. Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. Hi, Shadow. On my terms, and on my timeline. You got me? Fair enough. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough? Go kiss a skunk's ass. I should be earning a goddamn Boy Scout badge for this. Trip, it doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they could need a medic. No, -uh, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but, well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. What? Seriously? When you do that for me. It's just, it's the right thing to do. Anyway. Think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but 
I'll be back in an hour. You know, I never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah, she's... she's something. The thing is, is, and maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. That is weird. You're right. Trip's got more muscle, just in case. We'll wait and get a ride with him. Glad you're finally listening to reason. You know, when I met you, I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. I am an asshole! And to That's think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> yeah, guess I made the right call. It's gonna I'm be a while before that herd passes. We well, might as well get some sleep. Clementine looks like she's 15 now. 15, 16. Now that is creepy. I think I've been doing recording this for how long now? 27 minutes. Not too bad. Do what? Oh. oh my. Dinner. Aren't you hungry? <sighs> We're out of food, AJ. We're gonna starve. I'm starving. We gotta... Fucking AJ! We're gonna have a biggie stun. So this must be a Clementine dream. That's my guess. AJ, stay here while I find us dinner, okay? <coughs> Tell me you understand. <sighs> I'll stay close. It's okay. I'll stay close. Don't worry, you'll see me right through the window. Just look for my hat. Yeah, save him. Boom, headshot. 
Boom! Headshot! That looks like it hurt. So <laughs> just open the door, Flynn. A hard goodbye. What's that mean? Does that mean that AJ's dead? Please tell me it's not so. He's probably dead. I'm still waiting for it to fucking hit the auto save point. Anyways, um, it looks like I might be out of time. Oh, here we go. We almost there. Who was that? Hey, Clem. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me try to amputate her finger. Ouch. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this episode here. Um this is, this is, a new frontier is really starting to get interested. Uh, but, if AJ is dead, then this sucks. And Clementine lost a finger. Hey, at least she didn't turn, now did she? <laughs> Anyways, I'm out of time for this episode. Uh, I was really good. <coughs> that was a good episode. On Monday, I'll be doing Google View and Kelly Floor. Kelly Floor is kind of like a traditional thing on Mondays. Just like Rusty Apron Vogue was taking three platinum by traditional on Thursday. And The Walking Dead, New Frontier, is traditional on Fridays. But once it complete the new... But once it complete The Walking Dead, and New Frontier, and The Walking Dead, is shown, I'm not too sure what I'm going to record every Friday. 
I could do like a comedy core about a Murphy campaign or something. We'll see. But anyways, I'm all out of time. Much again, I'm going to leave it at that. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What was your favorite part about today's episode? What you see AJ again? Was it... See how much of a badass Clementine still is? Or was it the fact that Trip is pretty much helpful in a, a way of putting it, I guess? Um, Once again, thank you all for watching. If you think that AJ's dead in any way, do you feel like by now? I'm fine. I'll see you guys on Monday!